Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover. I am Penjo and welcome to the Tenants. So the best way I can think of to describe the Tenants is House Flipper Tycoon, I suppose. So if House Flipper and a tycoon management game got together and somehow produced an offspring, and let's not spend too long thinking about the mechanics of that because it's all a bit weird, but if they could and they did, it would probably look a lot like the Tenants. We decorate houses and we furnish houses just like House Flipper. So we get to choose the wallpapers and the carpets and then we get to put things in the houses like beds and sofas and TVs and pictures and all that kind of stuff but then we also have to deal with the ongoing demands of our tenants who we choose to rent our properties out to so they might have requests and they might have complaints and all that kind of stuff so we have to keep them happy so they keep living in the properties and they keep paying us monies every month so it's kind of you know got two aspects to it which is really interesting so yeah I thought we definitely had to check this out this is the demo version of the game so of course it's not the finished version and the game is due for release early next year so of course if you're interested there's a link to the Steam store page in the video description below so you can go and check it out and wishlist it and all that kind of stuff but I think without any further ado let's dive in and do some landlording. Okay, here we go. And this is the world. And it's a great big kind of city. There's all sorts going on. There's traffic driving around. I mean, I've obviously paused it, but all this is sort of flowing around. And there's people walking about. And there's all different types of buildings. So we've got kind of like a shanty area over there by the look of it. There's kind of some factory type things. Some kind of apartments over here. Kind of a car park. So there's all sorts of different kind of building types going on which does make me wonder what we're going to be, you know, kind of renovating or what kind of properties we're going to have in our landlord portfolio. Because, you know, normally you think you're going to go for sort of great big, lovely, glorious houses, but maybe we have to start small and start in places like this, which is absolutely fine. I'll start in one of those. That's very lovely. However, there is a chappy over here. Hello, chappy with a wonderful hat. What's up? Or whatever the kids say these days. I think they probably do still say that. That's what I've heard. Anyhow, check out your cell phone. I've got a job for you. Better pick it up quickly before someone else does. Okay, big pointy arrow. I'm absolutely on it. Jobs. Okay, Uncle Steve. Oh, is that Uncle Steve? Hi, Uncle Steve. I need someone uh, to turn my old trailer into a proper living space. Okay, so we're going to get paid four grand for turning a trailer into a nice living space. Okay, gotcha. Uh, okay, end. Right, hang on. We might we might need to move some time on. I think we've confused the game. Okay, now on to the real thing. Let's go to my old camper. My friend Pedro used to live in it. And, well, you know him. Let's stock up and clean this mess up. You and me, how about that? Okay, so this is our first job. We've got uh, we've got 365 days left. We've got a year to clean out a trailer. Okay, I think we'll be fine. So does that take us to the job then, I assume? And, oh, okay, we're over here. We're near that, uh, that car park that we saw earlier. Okay, so let's have a look at what we're working with then. Um, can we get rid of that phone off there now? Yes, we can. So this is what we're working with. Okay, right. So do we click that and make it all sort of kick into life? So it looks like it's a little sort of trailer thing out in a little area of other trailers by a nice sort of water feature, which is very lovely. That's pretty nice on a warm day. Uh, okay, so what have we got? One way in and oh it looks really lovely it looks really nice there's all sorts of bits and bobs so yeah you can see the kind of the house flipper influence there's piles of rubbish on the floor and there's dirt on the walls and then yeah the walls are clearly just waiting to be decorated and what have you but uh okay let's begin cleaning then let's begin cleaning because that is highlighted and uncle steve we're going to get this tidied up for you uncle steve so here you go um okay right I'm in. Looks like the place is littered with garbage. Why don't we start with that? I know you don't like to get dirty, so just let me know what you want to clean up and I'll do the rest. Oh, so we're not actually, we're not going in ourselves. We've sent, we've sent you in. We've sent Uncle Steve with the amazing hat and the wonderful beard in and the curious lack of nose. But okay, we'll let you off, Uncle Steve. Um, So, okay. So we just click on that, do we? And then clean. Okay, and then Uncle Steve wanders over and he will do a spot of cleaning. He gets out a brush and he is cleaning up. Okay, wonderful. There we go. Ha, ain't nothing going to stop the tours if we keep this up. All we've done is clean up one pile of trash. I don't think we should be too eager. Um, still plenty to go though, including a bunch of damaged and broken furniture. Let me know what I should do with it. Okay, well, I think we should clean up all the rubbish first. Let's get rid of all the junk that's lying around the place. So you, pop the brush out sweep that up I, mean, I don't know where it's going i assume he's got like a bag somewhere there's something grotty on the wall there so some mold on the wall so give that a scrub um yeah this is the most we can zoom in but i think we can see everything we need to from just here so scrub that and there is a pile of uh, grot in the corner as well so go and clean that up as well and then it just looks like so what have we got there's there's a shower just there there's a shower a chair a table and then i don't know what that is a box of some sort so do we need to yeah, a bunch of damaged stuff and broken furniture. Okay, so the chair. Repair or dispose? 
Um, okay, well, it would make sense to repair it because I don't know kind of what we're supposed to do with it. I don't want to get rid of it. It might be someone's favourite chair. So, okay. I mean, I'm glad you're on this because I wouldn't have a clue how to renovate that chair. What do you do with the shower? Right, restore the shower. Okay, so the shower is a bit of a mess as well. So just go and fix that up and... Oh, crikey, that clean right up did it. Okay, and then we've got ourselves a kind of an old sort of, sort of a table desk thing there. So that can hopefully be given a bit of a scrub. And then there's a thing on the floor. I don't know what that is, and I can't zoom in any further to see what it is. What is that? I have no idea what that is on the floor. Is it a computer, like an old desktop tower? And that was the last of it. Cool, you can end this whole cleaning bonanza by politely pointing me to the front door. Try it, I promise I won't take it personally. Okie dokie. Right, exit out the front door then, Uncle Steve. Are you sure you want to exit the premises? Well, Uncle Steve wants to leave, so okay. Huzzah! All right, now it's your turn. Oh no, have I got to go and clean stuff? Uh, go and sort your reno uh, your renovation magic. Let's give this old bad boy some style. Ah, okay. Begin renovation. And okay, right, ah, ha, ha, right, this is where we get to do the floors and the walls and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're in renovation mode. The game time will pass slower so you can focus on the job at hand. Um, as you can see in the top left corner, in jobs, your remaining budget will be colored blue to differentiate it from your own money. Okay. So each job has a budget that's different from our own sort of personal stockpile of cash. Okie doke, right, on it. Use the menu at the bottom. Yeah, okay, so it looks like, yes, these are all the different things. Okay, fine, some are not available. We'll get to them eventually. Okie doke. So what do we need to do? Designing the interiors, well, that's going to be your part of the job. Absolutely, shrewd-faced lady is looking forward to this. Um, let's take care of the floors. Check out the checklist on the right and pick appropriate floor tiles from the list below. You can hover specific items to learn more about them. Okay. So we want build floors, carpet. Okay, so what are carpet? That's linoleum, that's lino, that's lino, that is stone. Where's carpet? Have we got any carpet? Um, ooh, okay, this stuff is carpet. Is it just a choice of these three things? Oh, they're, they're quite awful, aren't they? Um, okay, let's have the one with red in, and then we just sort of drop it in like that, do we? Um... Let's, do you know what? Let's change it around a bit. Let's make a feature of the central way in. Okay, so we've got yellow and we've got red kind of weird. That just looks all sorts of horror. But okay, there we go. We've done the carpet. Um, exactly. Now we'll see if we can do the walls as well. Okay, walls. Paint walls red. Okay, right. I mean, there's a little dot on them. So yeah, it's a required item. So we've got red wallpaper, um, purple, which is under a category of red which is a little bit befuddling. Okay. And dark red. Okay. Okay. Right. Or well, maybe we want to, do we want to split this up a little bit? Do we want to make this a bit different? I mean, how do we want to do this? Let's get, let's get dark red. We'll put it fine. Now let's put the light red over near the shower because that's going to be nice. So yeah, we won't do the dark red over near the shower. And then maybe then in this main room, we'll have, let's have can we have that as purple? Because that apparently counts as red, which is a little bit strange. And then the rest of it can just be the dark red. So there we go. Oh, she knows all about designing a house. Look at the, look at the wonderful colour scheme. Um, only 91% of the walls are red. Uh, ah, okay, because we haven't done that one. Yay, there we go. Now on to the most interesting part, the actual furnishing. Pick whatever furniture you like and place it in the apartment. Keep in mind that you can rotate the item. Okie dokie. So we can put whatever we like in. Okay, there's a... Ah, requires at least one of each. Okay, so not whatever furniture I like. It's got to have those things in. Okay, so it's got an electricity box and uh, a heater. Okay, but we don't need all these other things. It's got the shower. That's fine. We don't need that. So I imagine... Can we get rid of the old desk? Yeah, so get rid of the desk... That make us a bit of money. And the old chair. We don't need the chair. Okay, well, hopefully it's not anyone's favourite chair because we've now just sold it. Okay, got a little bit of money for those two things. Wonderful. And then, the, I mean, the electric box goes... Can we just put that... We can move that to wherever. So we could tuck that there. Although I suppose that was quite a good place for it. It sort of went quite nice there. We could put something else there. We could put a nice lamp or something there. Um, and then can we just move that over a tiny bit? Can we move that so it's more in the corner? Oh, wonderful. And then there's this thing. What is this thing? I don't really know what it is. I don't know what it is. I think it might be an old PC. Can we just sell that? They don't care about that, do they? Okay, right. So get rid of that. Um, so what do we need? Fridge, microwave, couch, TV, toilet and toilet paper. Where am I going to put the toilet? Um, okay, do you know what? Can we move the shower? If we move the shower... Um, hang on, that rotated it round. 
Pop the shower into that corner there. I feel like the toilet needs to not be in view of everyone else who might be over in this bit. I mean, I don't, there's a door option actually. Can we put a door in? Can we fit a door? Spaghetti string door. Just a, just a door would do the job quite nicely. Um, no, I don't think we can put a door in. That, that's, that door's a little bit high up there. That's, that's going to be no use to anybody. Um, yeah, maybe we can't do doors. Maybe it's not in this part of the tutorial. Uh, okay, right, okay. Where's, where's a loo going to be? Bathroom. Okay, so toilet and toilet paper. Okay, uh, a wall-hung toilet or a regular toilet? Let's just go for a normal toilet, shall we? Let's just get a toilet and we'll pop that right... Let's put it there and then we can hang the toilet paper thing off of that the modern sort of toilet roll holder thing next to it. Get in the hang of it, huh? I'll leave it up to you. Finish up the place however you like. But remember that you need to check all the requirements before you can deliver the job. Okie dokie, gotcha, thank you. Um, yeah, we'll pop that there because that's next to the loo. Uh, oh, and there's like proper, there's things, there's like a toilet brush and stuff. Well, let's have a red toilet brush given that the, all the walls are red. It'll match, it looks really nice. Okay, um, shower cabinet. Okay, there's the shower. So we've got the shower sorted. There's also a pile of toilet rolls. Can we get a little, can we get like a little table type thing? Can we put something down somewhere? Just like a little side table somewhere. And we could put those on it. Um, just decorations. Oh, oh my, oh my goodness me. Oh, there are so many lovely things. A, a, a collection of gardening books. Oh my goodness. Yes, personal growth books. There's a big plant. Oh, there's so many exciting things. Uh, right, hang on. We'll come back to the exciting things in a moment. Have we got just a little table? Just a little kind of tiny table thing. Do you know what we don't seem to have that's not an obvious thing that's going to go in a bedroom? Do you know what? The toilet rolls can just go down there for now. There we go. Right, so now we need a fridge, a microwave, a couch, and the TV. Okay. And then I want to put some extras in as well, because of course we do. Uh, okay. I mean, there's a big kind of blank bit of wall there where we could put a fridge. So kitchen, um, French door refrigerator. I've never heard of the concept of French door refrigerator. What, I don't know what that is. What's a French door? What's so French about the door? It opens from the middle outwards. It's, okay, right, that's a French thing apparently. There you go, well done France for inventing exciting doors. Okay, so pop that there. And then we've got a microwave, two choice of microwave. Ah, here's kind of side things, light colored, Kitchen countertop. Okay, can we put a couple of those in? Oh, they sort of hang out as well. I like them. Can we put a couple of those in? And then we can have extra stuff. Right, get the um, get the micro with grill function. Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, and then we've got space there for a lovely, lovely decorative thing. We'll come to that in a moment. Um, and then we will go to... Uh, where is it going to be? Living room. Okay, so sofas. Mid-century sofa in Pacific blue... Or a mid-century sofa in fern green. Um, how about fern green? That's going to look nice. That's quite big. That's quite a big thing we've got there. Um, okay, right, hang on. Can we put that right next to there? So as you come in, you kind of back, you know, your back is facing the doorway. So you're going to come in and see whoever's sitting on the sofa. And then can we put the TV over there? So there's a couple of options, a plasma TV or a CRT TV. Well, I'm not going to give them a CRT TV. What year is this? Let's give them a plasma TV for... Ooh, that's expensive. That's very expensive. That is quite costly indeed. Um, okay, can we put can we put a table down? Uh, let's get a table. Let's pop the table there and then let's put... Oh, let's give them a plasma TV. We've got quite a bit of money. We might need to turn the plasma TV round a little bit. There we go. Pop that there. And I think that's everything done. Looks pretty nice. Head over to the finalized app. No, 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 no. No, 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 Uncle Steve. No, no, no. We're, we're not done here. We're not done here, Uncle Steve. Absolutely not. Uh, okay, right. A light might be quite nice. Pop a little light over there, which is lovely. Um, and then we've got space just here to put some stuff. So let's go over to decorations. What can we put on here? Um, yeah, I mean, I wish there was some, like, cookbooks, like, microwave meal cookbooks or something, but unfortunately there is not. Um, how about, how about some candles? That's quite nice. Pop some candles on the corner there. Oh, and then we can have a small cactus. Yep, okay, sorted, that'll do. Oh, and a clock as well, just so that can help. Uh, let's put that there. So a nice clock. 
And then we'll have a wall fern. Yay! Oh no, it's in the way of the uh, it's in the way of the fridge. Um, oh, can we hang it there? Can it go there? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. Okay. Yep. I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. Preferred furniture DVD discs. Can we get DVD discs? Is that a is that a thing we have access to? I don't. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like we can get DVD discs. We can get posters. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We can get a zombie muffins poster. Oh yeah, let's pop that on the wall. Okay, right. I think we're done now. I think we're done. I think we've wasted enough money on extra exciting sort of bits of sort of adornment and frippery. Um, okay. Deliver the job. Room one is a generic room. There is nothing generic about this room. This is a wonderful room. How dare you call it generic? Okay, deliver the job. The room has vanished. Okay. Now, when you finish your first official job, I'll let you on a secret. Your aunt and my dear wife has left you this unit. That's very kind. I think it's a perfect opportunity to get your landlord career started, but the apartment will require some upfront work before we can rent it out. Okay, so it's one of sort of two little buildings over here. It looks very nice. It's like a little sort of, sort of plaza area next door, which is lovely. And um, yeah, I do like how there's sort of life happening around the place. Stuff is going on. It's not static. People are walking about and there's cars moving. It's very nice. Okay, what have we got to do with this then? Connect electricity for four thousand money we've only got five thousand three hundred oh maybe we shouldn't have spent so much money on posters and candles oh no okay right connect the electric and now we're remarkably poor ah but there is a chappy with a proper official hat on who's connecting this place up great you've got electricity connected now you have to do some more jobs and save up for installing the heating as well as for some renovation works good luck okay so simple renovation jobs unlocked um, oh, crikey, that looks like it's in Polish, but okay. So we need to find some jobs. Okay, so we need to go to our phone and we need to go to jobs. Okay, so this place here, bathroom design needed. Quality is not the top priority. Uh, requirements, create a new bathroom budget, 1,700 of your monies. And the job pay is 1,600. Okay, we'll accept that. Yeah, okay, so where's that? Um, install heating on... Boring Lane. This is <laughs> the road where we've got our little sort of potential future places called Boring Lane. I like that. Okay, so renovation. Uh, let's go over to there then. So this chappy here wants his bathroom doing. Oh, crikey's. Oh, okay, right. That's that's very small. Okay, so let's start working on this. And so begin renovation because it doesn't look like it needs anything else doing. So he just wants this putting into his bathroom. Okay. Uh, oh. You've got like a, uh, whatever that is, like a crinkly door thing. Okay, nice crinkly door. Okay, so floors. What do you need to do? Build floors, laminate or tile. Um, I mean, they are, what are they? They're stone. They're, I don't really like those tiles. They look a little bit terrible. Where's the, where's the laminates? There. Would you like a wooden floor in your bathroom? That's, that's a bit strange. That's a bit strange. How about that? Desert June. I mean, the, re the the room next door is kind of brown. So why don't we kind of go with that? So there you go. That looks quite nice. That looks okay. And then um, and then walls. Can we go for the same thing? Yellow or grey? Okay, can we go for a grey then? Just to... Oh, that's horrible. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. What have I just put in? Nubila grey. Do you know what? I kind of want to make it yellow now. Can we just make it yellow instead? Okay, fine. We've kind of gone against the colour scheme of next door. But do you know what? It looks really nice. And one final bit of yellow. Splendid. Okay. And then he wants a shower, a toilet, and some toilet paper, which would make perfect sense, you know, what with it being a bathroom and everything. Uh, so we've got ourselves a little sort of heater thing just there. So, uh, oh, preferred furniture, a wall clock, and a drying rack. Uh, I mean, how much room do you think there is in here, my good sir? My goodness. Okay. <laughs> right, hang on. First things first, let's get the shower in. We've got 1,345 money. Oh, crikey. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This this is this is quite a small room. Okay, so how near can that go? That can go right there in the corner. Then we've got a shower, which is lovely. Okay, then we want a toilet and toilet paper. And yeah, the wall clock is not a problem. I'd love to get him a drying rack. Can we just can the drying rack tuck right round? Oh, no, the drying rack needs a um needs space to stand in front of it. No, we're not gonna be able to get one of those. Uh oh no! We could get one of those. Can we somehow tuck that? There. Hang on, how does that work? It's got, it's got to be leaning against the wall somehow. If we put that there, he's got a drying rack. 
Yes, we've given you a folded mint blue drying rack. The nicest of all the colours of drying racks I find. Uh, okay, we still need a toilet though, of course. Um, let's have the... Ooh, a small convenient toilet. I kind of feel like we should have that proper toilet in. The only thing is, where, can, where on earth can this go? Where can we put the toilet that's not going to be a slightly weird place? I mean, you know, if it goes there, if it goes just there, you are near the radiator, which is nice, but you are going to walk out of the shower and you know, walk into the toilet. Um, unless we move that, hang on, move that over to that side. Oh, hang on a minute. Swivel that around. Do, do, do. There we go. Right, pop that just there, please. And then can we then move the toilet over the tiniest bit? It is a bit weird that you just walk straight in and there's a toilet there. But you know what? It's the bathroom and that's the whole point of this room. Uh, and then we will have ourselves... That can go just there. And it's not in the way of the door, I don't think. It might be in the way of the door a little bit. Do you know what? It's fine. If he's happy with it, it's okay. And then we'll put a little pile of, little pile of those in that corner, look. Can we rotate them round ever so slightly? Um, no. Okay, might have to sort of... Oh, okay, that'll do. Just there. Okay, and then get a where was it? A wall clock as well. Where was the wall clock? It was it was in here somewhere. There. So get a nice wall clock. Do you know what? We'll put it on the other side to where the toilet is, so you can sit on the loo and check the time. Although obviously it'll be on your phone anyway. But there you go. So there we go. He's got all of his things sorted in his bathroom. I think we are done. So deliver that job. Yes. Is he happy with this? He's got a Christmas hat on. Is it Christmas? It's month one, day 17. And he's got kind of crazy emoji face heart eyes going on. Does he like it? Is he texting me? Wait for the client review. New items have been unlocked. So we've unlocked a barbell. Okay. We've unlocked concrete workshop concrete okay a uh, nice sort of cabinet thing and some crazy carpet and a modern toilet roll holder i thought we already had one of those but okie doke right he is very happy with that which is nice uh player two what's that level two well, we've got two reviews okay Uncle Steve was very happy. That chap, no major inconveniences. It might not show them from the first look. Penge actually knows how to renovate. Oh, she's very good. She's very good. Hey, you, I need a room designer. Agile budget. Sports equipment is a must. Ah, well, I just got a, a, a weight lifty thing. You know, the heavy weights on the stick in the middle. So we could do that. Um, a new bathroom. We've just done a bathroom. We're pretty good at that. Um, that This one pays a bit more. Uh, renovation of siblings' bedroom. That pays a lot more. Hang on, hang on. If we're going to do it, why don't we just do a big thing? They've got a budget of 6150 over on a Sycamore Circle. Julia McLean, we're coming over to you. And yes, we'll begin renovating this place here. So they want their kitchen redoing. Okay, where is your kitchen? Is it this space in the middle? Yeah, it was like a kitchen diner, wasn't it, sort of thing. Okay, I mean, your house is... You've got some very unusual wallpapers going on in your house. Oh, that's good. It's got like a townscape on it. And then there's some weird things. What are they? I don't know what they are on the wall. I don't know what they are on the wall. I'm not entirely sure. Hug me. Okay, have a hug. Uh, right. What do we need to do here then? So build floors, hardwood or tile. Okay, so we've not got too much choice really. Not got too much choice. Hardwood is there. Tile is there. I would prefer the hardwood. Let's make this, let's make this room a sort of a dark... Maybe, can we do like library type stuff? We've got loads of books. Let's do that. Let's make it, oh, that's not as dark as I was kind of hoping it might be. Okay, never mind. But there we go. The flooring is done. And then paint the walls gray or yellow. Why do you want gray or yellow walls? I keep trying to theme the rooms and you want ludicrous colored walls. Okay, and gray or yellow walls. Um, You've already got, you've got both of those gray walls in. So why don't we just have a mixture of yellow? Seeing as your other rooms have got interesting walls. We'll have that, that yellow. So those end walls can be that yellow. And then the side walls can be that level of yellow. Yay for the yellow and the brown. <laughs> the classic combination. <laughs> okay. And then we just need to put all these things in. Fridge, ovens, kitchen sinks, more chairs. And then they want some wall plants. Okay. I think we can probably manage that. So how about we're going to have a kitchen bit over there. So let's get ourselves. Let's go to furniture and go to uh, kitchen just there. So let's get 
the fridge. Let's have the French door refrigerator. Uh, oh, that's energy saving though. But we are on a budget. That's a bit cheaper and it still looks very, very lovely indeed. So swivel that round. I don't want to cover up the window because I think that's going to be a terrible idea. So let's just drop that into the middle for now. And then let's get the kitchen unit things in. Dark kitchen cabinet corner. Ooh. Oh, that's quite nice. Doesn't suit what we want, does it? Hang on a minute. Hang on. Does that work like that? Just little corner sections? No, it really doesn't work like that at all. Let's not do that ever again. Right. Kitchen sink. Let's put the sink there so people can look out of the window whilst they're, you know, doing the dishes or what have you. In fact, we probably want to have a little bit of a gap next to it. So we'll have that there next to it. Oh, that needs to go right in the corner like that. Move that over. So it's next to that. Yes. Okay, that's good. And then move that over there for now. It's fine. Right, grab another one of those. I like these. That's going to look nice. And then move that over. Pop that into the middle just there. What do we need? We need the... Oh, we need an oven. Oh, hang on. Let's not, let's not spend a lot of money on these things. We do need an oven. An electric cooker or an induction cooker. We'll have an electric cooker because the induction one's a bit more expensive. So how about then, right, hang on, move you out the way again, fridge. Go away, fridge, over there for now. Right, let's put the, the kind of oven in the middle. And I imagine you can have, you know, plates and stuff in here. And then we'll have another one of those next to it, because that makes sense. And then, do you know what? We'll put that right in the corner. We'll just tuck the fridge in the corner. I feel like the fridge has been relegated to the corner a little bit. Sorry, fridge. Uh, and then we'll put that like that. Okay, and then we'll give them a we'll give them a microwave. We'll pop a little microwave on the end there because I quite like the idea of having a microwave. That's quite nice. Um, and then what else do they want? A small table and a chair. I mean, you've got a lot of room for a small table and a chair. There's plenty of space for all of those things. Okay, right. Dining room. Uh, well, there is there is a table. Is that small? It certainly looks small. This room is huge. This, this room is vast. It's just a huge room. It's going to have nothing in it. Okay, do you know what? Do you know what? We're going to make a feature of this. We're going to put that right in the middle. And then we're going to get some chairs. And they're all going to be different chairs. Because yeah, the other rooms have got interesting decor in. I mean, that's interesting wallpaper and interesting flooring. That's an interesting kind of combo there. So we're going to do that over here. So we're going to have one chair like that. Oh, it snaps to the table. That is wonderful. Um, one chair like that. We're going to have a garden chair like that. And we're going to have a rustic chair like that, which does look like it's falling apart. That is brilliant. I do like that. Okay. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got 1,844 monies left. Let's just put in loads of lovely decorative things. Uh, let's have a clock because that is going to be quite nice. So you can you know, check how long your food's been cooking for or what have you. Um, and then, yeah, they wanted some wall ferns, didn't they? Some wall plants. So let's put, Joe, you know let's put one of them over there be quite nice so boop and then three pepperomia wall planters okay i don't know what pepperomia is i thought it was those like meat snack things you eat uh okay one of them just there we've still got loads of money left can we put down a rug or something the room just seems so bare it just seems <laughs> so very sadly empty right pop that there by the door that's nice and then can we put maybe something over here and put something on something over there um what did we get last time we got where where were the little there was like just a shelf thing wasn't there um, and desk isn't the right thing it was yeah it was one of these there you go a cabinet just a generic cabinet now i know this is a a bedroomy item apparently but if we just pop that there we can just put some nice decorative things on it we could put uh some books what about gardening books? They like the plants, so they might like the gardening books. So pop on some gardening books. And then can we do anything else? Or have a picture of whatever that is. Yeah, a nice picture. Yay for the picture. And then, and then candles. What about some more candles? Everyone loves a candle. There we go. Pop a candle in. It's kind of merged in with the book. I'm sure it's fine. No, 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 not that. Can we move the books? Can we move the books over ever so marginally that way? Yay, there we go. Right, so books and candles. I mean, those books are going to constantly fall off and it's going to be really irritating. But we have at least delivered all the stuff they've asked for. So, okay, 
Let's deliver the job. Okay, so she's left her review. New items have been unlocked. Now, this is very intriguing. So this here, this is a chair. I get that. This is a table. This is some sort of weird doorway with asparagus string in it, which is just all sorts of strange. However, what's this? A pale white. Pale white wall or floor or what? It's a, a white kind of either wall covering or a carpet or something like that. Okay, that's fine. Um, so what did you say? What did you say about us? What happened there? Uh, reviews. Um, oh, three. I might have expected too much, but I guess this new look of the flat is all right. No major inconveniences. If I was to pinpoint a slight inconvenience, it would be that walls aren't as I wanted. Well, you asked for them yellow and they were delivered yellow. That's what you said. If you didn't want them yellow, you shouldn't have said, can I have the yellow walls, please? So, okay, never mind. Do you know what? That's all fine. Uh, okay, looks like we need to get another another job in uh, yeah it's gonna cost uh, yeah six grand six grand to get the heating in it our sort of place back on back on the wonderfully named boring lane um so let's do that pays out two and a half grand i need someone to design a pretty and functional kitchen for me requirements create a new kitchen budget seven thousand three hundred you want a pretty and functional kitchen oh we're all over that ronan phillips Okay, I assume it's a kitchen diner of some description because otherwise this is a very, very big kitchen and I don't know where you're going to go and eat your food because there's your bedroom. There's your bedroom there with all sorts of lovely inspirational posters. <laughs> Did you smile today? <laughs> no, you are breathtaking. Okay, right, so you've got your little room there and then a bathroom, which is nice. Nice shower in the corner there. Uh, but then, yeah, everything else is very empty. It's all very, very empty indeed. Uh, okay, well, here we go. Build floors, tile or stone. Um, let's put in, let's put in this nice, can we have that? Uh, granite, granite will look quite nice. We'll pop in some granite floors. That's kind of, you know, classy, isn't it? There we go. So nice classic granite floors going in. Splendid. 7,000 left. Paint walls. Okie dokie. Green or grey. Everybody is after the grey. Everyone's after the grey. Pale white is apparently the category of grey. Don't understand it. Um, okay. Okay. Hang on. With furniture. With, with with kitchen furniture. Oh, it's all the same stuff. We've only got that stuff there. Okay, never mind, never mind. Um, do you know what? Let's go for green. We haven't had any green yet. So let's go for grass green walls, which, yeah, I don't know if I'd have my kitchen with grass green walls, but okay, I'm not the paying customer. It's all fine. So drop all those in. The money is coming down a little bit, isn't it? Okay, fine. Yeah, he's got a lot of... Oh, oh no, no, no. Edit undo. Hang on. Very sorry, sir. I painted one of your walls by accident in your bedroom. I know I shouldn't have gone into the bedroom. I accidentally went in and painted an entire wall without realising. Okay, 94 and 100%. Okay, so wall's done. And now he's going to want all the regular kitchen stuff. So let's go to furniture and we'll go into kitchen. So we're going to need to do stuff with this. But then he also wants bar stools and an extractor over the oven as well. So where do we put all of this stuff? I mean, in there would be quite good for... A sort of food prep area so maybe have a fridge over here and then have a load of sort of uh, sides across there so like this ah joe we could do hang on hang on hang on can we get those in and is there a way we can just buy if we hold shift do we buy like multiples of them no we have to keep going down and clicking on it that's a bit fiddly okay fine so we'll do that and that and then we'll fit can we fit another one in no that is unfortunate okay we'll put something there hang on hang on decorative item inbound what can we have um how about i mean yeah can we put one of those um oh no that's oh yeah can we put a grow a sort of a plant thing there there you go that's nice he wants a tv and a wall clock okay we can do the wall clock da da nice sort of wall clock action going on okay and then here a bar stool now are they in the kitchen bits or are they somewhere else where would the bar stool be? Can we even do a bar stool? I'm not entirely sure. It's not going to be in the bedroom. Um, office, living room, possibly? Where is the bar stool? Or is it in decorative things? Or is it in special items? Oh, no. Can we do a bar stool? I'm not entirely sure where they are. Hang on, have we even got access to that? It's just their counter bar stool. So I quite like this because we can put them along here. We can put a few bar stools along this bit here. I quite like that. And then you can see it. Oh, hang on. He wants a TV. Oh, yes, this is perfect. Hang on. Right. Where are the TV options? Okay. Can, I mean, can we mount the TV? I mean, we could just put it there. I feel like we should be able to mount it on the wall, if I'm honest. But 
Uh, seemingly we can't do that. No, that's backwards. Right, put the TV there. Let's move the clock. Move the clock over into that corner there. And then, yeah, can we push the TV back as far as it can go? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's perfect. He's got his TV. He's got his wall clock. He's got his bar stools. And they're around these things here. Okay, that's really good. I like that. That's very exciting. Hang on, hang on. I notice there's other things just here. There's a gaming console. Can we can we put a gaming console out on there? That could be quite good. A retro... Oh, everyone's going to want a retro console. Let's just pop a little retro console there as well. I mean, I, maybe he doesn't want that at all. Why am I Why am I sort of fitting it with retro consoles? Joe, you know what? He'll love it. It's absolutely fine. He'll think it's great. Okay, right. Rest of the kitchen stuff then. Possibly should, you know, get on with all that stuff. Um, Where can we put... The rest of the kitchen stuff. I feel like we need a table over here somewhere. So maybe the kitchen stuff, the rest of it can go along there. So grab this and we will have... Uh, yeah, I quite like those. I've got drawers, which will help. You know, you can put your cutlery in those and stuff. So how about we start in the corner and then work our way along. So right, one of those and a no... Oh, no, that's incomplete. Not completely the wrong place. It's in the wrong place. One just there. And another one just there. I'm just keeping an eye on the money. 2,600. Right. And then we can put the sink just here, which is absolutely fine. It's near the window. So you can look outside as you're doing your dishes, which is lovely. I like that. You can watch the world go by. Well, okay. You can see what the neighbors are doing. You can w watch the neighbors doing their dishes. as They look out the window and watch you doing your dishes. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. We'll put that there. And then we'll have an oven and we'll have an electric cooker that can slot quite nicely into just there and then they want extra bits and bobs on here as well ah, an extractor we have got one of those so that can be seated right above that which is splendid um, and then they want we've got the fridge in kettle or toaster or microwave you can have all three you can have all three of those wonderful things um okay okay hang on do we just put the rest just cabinets all the way along there oh no we might not be able to afford all that Oh, hang on a minute. Right, hang on. Let's let's just fit it with what we actually can fit on. So, a toaster. Very important. Um, and let's give them a kettle as well. Let's pop a little electric kettle in. There we go. A lovely kettle. Near to your toaster. There's your basics. Oh, it's a kettle. Oh, you can have tea now. Everything is good again. Uh, and then a wall lamp and a fridge. Yeah, we might have to go for the French door refrigerator because we can't afford anything else. So, let's just pop that there like so and then we need a wall lamp for 273 of your monies where are they are they in here um that's the clocks that's the plants where is a wall lamp okay right i'm not entirely sure where a wall lamp is let's go and uh let's go and hunt one of those down uh nope that's just a normal lamp i'm looking it should have the dots on it, it should have the little dots on it um that's a tv ah there one of these Either an LED sconce for 100. Yeah, that's quite nice. Uh, oh, oh, crikey. Okay, yeah, let's pop it. Uh, can we just put it over there? Yes. Okay, right, right. We've delivered. We've delivered his requirements and he's got $173 left to play with. I mean, he could buy himself some games for his wonderful new console. I mean, the TV was quite a big chunk of that cost. But he did say preferred furniture wants a TV and we've given him a TV. So, okay, right. Deliver that job. Right. Here we go. Let's wait for you to have a little look around and see what's going on. See if you like it. Wait for the client review. New items have been unlocked and I think we got a 5 out of 5 review for that. Oh, that is very welcome. So we've unlocked Marble, which is a little bit fancy pants. We've unlocked Quiet Pink, which is quite nice. We've unlocked a fancy bed and we have unlocked some white tiles. Okay. So yeah, let's go and have a look at our review because that I think was quite good. Um, job reviews. Yes, the job so well done. I felt guilty for paying so little. Oh, you paid a bit more. I think you did pay a little bit more. Wasn't it two and a half grand? Yeah, you've given me an extra five hundred dollars. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. I thought only oh, no, my brother-in-law could do such miracles with a putty knife and a paint roller. Well, no. Now you can call upon us, and we will do those miracles. Okay, so now I think we can go back over here, and we can have a look at our little house here. And uh, yeah, we'll try and sort this out. So we're right, install heating for 6,000. We've got 8,100. So let's get somebody in. Yep, again, official kind of house. It does look like a plant pot on his head. But there we go. So he's sort of, you know, wafting his arms at the wall. That's that's heating going in right there. And we have ourselves the world's smallest heater. <laughs> a tiny radiator. Here we go. 
Okay, we're ready to clean this place up. Send me in and let's get started right away. You know the drill. I've got a surprise for you. Okay, right, begin cleaning. Player storage unlocked. You can now store the items you managed to fix up in a new shiny storage area, area your uncle has managed to track. Once stored, the items can be placed later in any apartment during the renovation mode. Okay. So, yep, that's right. I've managed to track down a nice little storage area for your scavenging hunts. You know how plenty of folks are fine uh, with throwing away broken furniture? Oh, well, you you can probably not do that, I imagine. Plus, some of the stuff you can find there is quite special. Be on the lookout for the so-called unique items and make sure you don't waste them on some fool's run-down studio apartment. Anyway, let's finish up. Okay. Oh, I do like this. I do like this. I like going through and doing some cleaning. There's a crack in the wall. Do we sort of plaster that over? Yeah, we do. Okay. Well, there you go, Uncle Steve. Right, well, let's go around and just sort of tidy everything up because it'll take a little while to sort of get stuff done. So, right, he's done that. I imagine we have to clean up that puddle as well. So, right, so we'll clean up all the rubbish and stuff and then we'll turn our attention to the furniture. Okay, Uncle Steve has been scrubbing around all over the place and everything is now looking tidy apart from our sort of furniture stuff here. So this thing here, let's restore this and let's see what we can do with this. So it will just, you know, give it a bit of a scrub. So what can we do with this now? We can sell it. We can add it to the player storage. Okay, so take that away. It was more of a sort of an outsidey looking kind of thing anyway. Now, how do we get to our storage? It's just there. Ah, so we have ourselves a terrace wooden plane table. Yeah, that's more of an outside table, I would see that. Um, okay, repair that. That was a 59% condition. So just, you know, fix that up. Get some you know, nails or whatever. I'm sure that's fine. Um, we'll sell that. It looks a little bit. Oh, it, it's completely broken. You've not repaired it at all. It, it, uh, uh, yeah, it's broken. We'll just sell that. It's fine. You can get rid of that. There's a bit that was clearly broken on the, on the bottom there. This looks okay, however. Let's restore this. This looks all right. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. We don't need to do anything with that. That's absolutely fine. Um, and then, then what do we do? I think it's sort of all clean and stuff, isn't it? It's all done. So what, hang on, what do we do now? Where's the next step of this? We can walk you around. I don't think there's any more stuff we need to clean or whatever. Oh no, right, we send you out the door. That's it. So you exit. We've done all that stuff. So it looks very lovely. Yes, I'd love to exit the premises. Awesome, now we can finally finish up old auntie's place. Okay, so begin renovation, remodeling tools unlocked. Ah, now we can build walls or knock walls down. Okay, as you can see, you've unlocked a new renovation tool called remodeling. Let's try it out, bulldoze some inner wall first. I mean, this one here we don't need. We don't need that there at all. So bulldoze this wall section. Right, I got it. That felt nice, but let's see if you can create walls just as well as you destroy them. Okay, let's build a wall entirely pointlessly where we just knocked it down. Not bad. Now onto the doors. They can only be placed in an existing inner wall. Ah, try and see if you can do it. Okay, so right. Okay, no, I don't really want to... Do you know what? Let's do that. We'll put that there and then that can be a little bathroom area at the edge. That'll be quite nice. Can we put windows? Kind of like a bathroom with a window. Okay, do you know what? It's fine. Seems that you know all the basics by now. Now we need to check all the requirements on the list. Remember that the better the interior design, the better the tenants that will want to live in it. I'll leave you to do your thing. After all, you're the boss. Okay, so right, let's get ourselves another wall section just there and then we'll bulldoze that wall just there. And there we go, that's our kind of shell. So the idea is that that's gonna be a bathroom and this can be a nice sort of living area thing over here. Yeah, they're gonna want a toilet and they're gonna have a fridge. So yeah, we'll make this a nice sort of area to live in. Okay, so let's go to here. Uh, right, doors. We're going to want a door. Actually get to put a door in for once. Um, a slide door. Is that what that weird... I don't know. Uh, let's just put one of those in. Yeah, that'll do. Let's pop a door in just there. Okay, so walls. Now, this is quite nice. We can do what we like with this now. We can do what we want with this. Um, a sky blue bathroom. That might be quite nice. Oh, yeah, that looks lovely. Yes. In fact, you know what? I've just had an idea. I've just had a wonderful idea. Okay, sky blue bathroom walls, lovely. And then the flooring. How about the floors could be as near to yellow as we can get? Okay, that will do, that will do, there we go. I mean, okay, carpet in a bathroom, probably not the best thing in the world, but yeah, I kind of want it to be yellow. And then over here, we will have some blue flooring. Oh no, we can't, oh, I was gonna try and do it geek covered corporate, but that's lino. That's linoleum. I kind of want nice carpet in here. A lovely carpet. Um, oh, pine fur. Do you know what? That's quite nice. Let's have that flooring in. 
Yes, there we go. That'll do. Right, we can't do it geek cupboard corporate, so let's replace the flooring in here. That's a bit of a shame. Um, let's have... Oh, do you know what? If we're going to go... Let's do that. There we go. <laughs> Blue and pink, the obvious combo. And then walls. Uh, let's have murky... <laughs> murky brown wallpaper no thank you let's not have murky wallpaper um, i quite like the purple there we go we'll have purple on those walls because who wouldn't want to have those walls and then let's have golden yellow on the others oh yes oh it's a room when you go into it it just melts your face right off look at that <laughs> that is brilliant okay right and now let's go on to furniture right bathroom stuff Let's, but now we've got a bit of freedom with this now. We've got a little bit of extra room. So we can put the shower in. What have we got? Almost five grand. Yeah, absolutely. Got loads of money. Absolutely fine. Right, where can you go? So pop that just there. Can we put the laundry basket down there? Yes, we can fit a laundry basket down there. That is splendid. Um, and then uh, we'll have a sink because I feel like we need a sink. We haven't, nowhere, never other places have had a sink put in. So can we pop a sink just there? And then that seems quite high. Uh, and then the electric box probably should not go in the toilet, I would have thought. Let's just put that right by the door. Uh, and then we'll have ourselves a toilet that can go just... Oh, actually, can it go on the same side as the sink? Can it go just there? Yeah, next to the sink. And then we'll have ourselves the toilet roll holder. Beautiful. And then a pile of toilet rolls down there. In fact, no, what's that? We can have... Oh, we can have a proper sink. Oh, 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 that's very nice. Oh, hang on, hang on. Which way around is it? Is that the right way? Yeah, there it is. That's even nicer when it's the right way around. Let's have that there. Right, get rid of you. You can be gone. However, the toilet is struggling a little bit with, with you know, space. This is like bathroom Tetris. What is blocking access to that toilet just there? There is nothing. You can clearly walk to the toilet. Okay, I think there's something wrong with our fancy kind of sink unit thing just here because I've moved the toilet over here. So it's currently next to the couch, which, you know, is probably quite a nice convenient thing, but it's a bit grim. But uh, yeah, that is still complaining that something is blocking access to that furniture. I don't know what it is. So we might have to just get rid of that, which is a bit of a shame because that would have been really, really good. So what we'll do is we'll just put this back as it was the loo can go there actually and we'll move that to we'll move that toilet roll thing to just there which is nice um and then we'll just put we'll put one of those little plunger things just there so a toilet brush and then we'll put some toilet rolls in the corner and then yeah i still do want to sink i think we should have a sink so let's just pop a sink just there right okay right so i think maybe the maybe the pathing of this is a little bit fiddly because in my eyes there's nothing to stop you there's nothing to stop you walking to that toilet and then using that sink they are completely free items there is <laughs> it's not blocked it's not blocked game why are you doing this game what is wrong with you i mean that's but now see that i would i would suggest that that's more blocked than it was across the other side but you know what i'm not going to complain it's all fine right have we got any um anything sort of bathroomy that we can put on the walls here um pixel beach oh that's quite nice Let's pop that on the wall and then we'll have ourselves, um, how about, ooh, what's that? That's like a little plant. Oh, we haven't got anywhere, we haven't got a surface in the bathroom to put anything on, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, and life in a boat. Oh, that's quite bathroomy. It's to do with, you know, water and stuff. Yeah, okay, life in a boat. And now we've got $3,251 to do up this bit here. So we need a bed, we need a fridge, we need some sort of kitcheny stuff, probably a TV as well might not go amiss. Okay, so let's go to uh let's go to bedroom let's get ourselves a nice bed we got that double bed in sky blue that's quite nice let's pop that there oh that's lovely can we put that sort of as you come in so just there pop a double bed in i mean one of one the person on this side of the bed is sleeping next to the electrical unit thing but that's fine <laughs> oh do you know what i can't have that it it's not in line with that window that's that's quite annoying let's move that out the way for now uh, go to there, please. And you, move you. Let's put you central to there, then. Okay, that's, yeah, that's nice. And then, can we get, how big are those? How big are those? Oh, yeah, look, I mean, they're sort of, it's equivalent to a bedside table. It will have to do for a bedside table. So one there, and one, oh, no, no, there's a bedside cabinet. Oh, no, hang on, you can have that as well, then. Let's just pop that over there in that corner for now. Yay. Okay, yeah, bedside cabinet. 
We've got two of those, please. That will make sense. So one just there and one just there. And then we can put some lovely decorative things on there. Hang on. Let's get a fridge in first. Let's get the kitcheny bits in. So kitcheny stuff. Uh, let's move that out of the way for now. So let's get a couple of those like these. So we'll swivel that around. So get a few of these things here. So one there and another one next to it and another one next to that. In fact, you know what? Let's move that one over so it's under the window. And then we will get ourselves a French door refrigerator because it's cheaper than the other one. And we can't fit it into that gap. Yay, hang on, right, move everything over the tiniest amount. Okay, so we have all of our required items in. We've got the bed, we've got the seat, although it's in a bit of a silly place right now, but we'll work on that. We've got the fridge, we've got the toilet, we've got the heater, and we have the electricity box just there. Okay, so all that is in. Now, we have got a grand left. I feel like we need to give you some extra stuff. So, number one, kettle. Very important, kettle. So you can have some lovely drinks preferably tea but you know it's fine you can drink other drinks if you like but yeah we will know about it and we'll come and get you so there's your kettle for making some nice tea i also think maybe a sink probably wouldn't go amiss a sink i know you've got a sink there i suppose if you need to wash your pots and pans you can use that sink but i kind of feel like you should have a proper sink i feel like you should have an actual kitchen sink so you know, when you do make your cups of tea you can you can wash them up in in the sink so there you go now, you've got nowhere to store your cups actually have you hang on sell that let's get let's get one of those in let's get one of those units in because they're really nice there you go so you've got some cupboard space now which is quite nice 520 dollars left um okay so let's move that to the end of the bed which i do quite like i like that i mean they're staring at the bathroom door which is a little bit creepy but it, it's okay for now um and then what else can we put in what else can we put in i mean we have got quite a bit of space over there have I put in, oh, there's a there's a happy sort of face poster thing. Oh, that's nice. Let's put that in. And they, you know, they can wake up and look at that and feel jolly and joyous. That's nice. And um, a tall mirror. That probably would not be a bad thing. Pop that there. That's okay. And then we've got a little bit of space on the table. So, right, candles. Candles have gone into all the other places. Let's have candles everywhere. Right, one candle lot there and some more candles if we rotate them round. Sort of there, nice. So there you go, some lovely candles. That's all very nice. Uh, oh, hang on, uh, no, no, not there. No, not you, the candles, the candles. The candles are more important. I want to move the candles. How can I do that? There we go. They're just nearly falling off, that's all. I like that, that'll do. And then we can, we can put something on there. How about some growth books? Um, oh no, they're not in a night. No, hang on, they can go there. Uh, boop, next to the fridge. So while you're waiting for your kettle to boil so you can get yourself a cup of tea, you can read a, you know, a sort of development book. And then we'll put some historical books over there, uh, like so, onto into that corner. Splendid. $295 left. Is there anything else that we really, really want to add? I guess we could give them a lamp. A nice lamp, just in that gap over there. There's space for a lovely lamp. In fact, you know what? We'll tuck that into the corner and then let's see if we can get ourselves... Oh, hang on. What's in here? What's in the special stuff? What's that? Small dumbbell, 269. That would leave us a little bit poor. I suppose we could put a barbell in. I feel like it's a little bit particular. It's a little bit particular putting a barbell in. I mean, if I moved into a house and there was a barbell there, I would not want it there. I would remove it. Um, uh, oh, chess. We could put a chessboard down. I mean, okay, it takes up a bit of space on the side. Maybe not a chessboard. That wall just looks a bit empty. Let's put a nice poster on there. How about inaccurate hit poster no let's not have that um deep uh, painting a deep sea octorok oh that's quite nice yeah let's pop one of those in and then i think we're done i quite like that oh hang on a minute there's an alarm clock we can put an alarm clock on the bedside table that is wonderful and i think with that i think we're done I quite like that. That looks okay. I mean, yeah, it needs some more stuff. It needs a TV in there, I would say. And, you know, maybe a games console or whatever. And we could certainly put some more stuff on the walls. But for now, that will do the job. Okay. So now we find out, do we just leave? Do we just leave this place? Looks like you've got a unit ready for renting. Let's go into the open house panel and start it right now. During an open house, various customers will come by to check out the apartment. Okay, right. Begin open house. Um, yeah, leaf. Oh. Hang on, I might have... Oh no, we've got $100. We, we can do a leaflet drop. 
a few people should get the idea and we'll do the whole apartment. Yeah, looks like we've got our first potential tenant. How exciting. Let's click on her and try to make her a good deal. Keep in mind, the more they like the apartment, the more they're going to be willing to pay. Okay, apartment opinion, good. Okay, let's barter with you. Oh, look at that. You can do background checks, tenancy history checks. She is loving the fridge. The fridge is the thing of dreams. Have you got odd socks on? Oh, yes, you've got odd socks on. Right, we're, we're getting you. We're, can we get you in right now? Uh, let's barter with you. Um, so apartment opinion is kind of smiley face. I mean, what's what's the red? Orange indicator are fixed costs. Um, I mean, I don't know. No idea. How much is she willing to pay? How about 1200 Let's negotiate. Success. We have a new tenant. She's Cindy French. Oh, this is very exciting. Hello, Cindy French. Um, good day, Pench. Hope this message finds you well. But thank you once again for the opportunity. I've just moved in and it's all looking great. Have a blessed day, Cindy French. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, right. You've, you've got something to do. You've got your phone. Okay, lovely. Right, splendid. Yeah, you've actually got you know, something to entertain yourself. That is wonderful. So we've got our very, very first tenant, Cindy French there, with her wonderful kind of odd long socks on, which is splendid. Okay, okay, I'm very happy with that. So our next goal to get 250 XP is to gather reputation and prove that you are a reliable agent. And yes, we have to achieve total job ratings 0 out of 20. What does that mean? Oh, I see. So if we get five stars on a job, that would count as five toward the 20. Okay, right. Yeah, I get you. I'm with you. I think the toilet is flooding. Yeah, look. The toilet's actually flooding. The, the, the bathroom is full of... The bathroom is full of water. Okay. One of your tenants requires attention. It seems that something has happened in their apartment. Check out messages. I know what's happened. The toilet has flooded. I've got a situation here. Um, yeah, a leaky pipe or something. The water's spraying out of control. I will send somebody in. Ah... There we go. You can check out how the repair will go. The tenant should be thankful after it's all over. Okay, right. So now somebody's going in. There we go. There's a plumber sort of repair person. I see we've got unpaid bills uh, piled up. Let's go to the finances panel to deal with them. Okay. Ah, so we have to pay all of our bills. Oh, I, I can't afford to pay all of the bills. I can't afford $299. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I can't. As you can see, you can pay each bill separately. But for now, just pay all the bills at once. I can't. I, can't, I physically can't do it, tutorial man. It won't let me. <laughs> I've not got enough money. I've only got $205 and I need $299. And the game is now not happy with me anymore. However, there we go. The um, At least the flood has been fixed. So, you know, something good has happened. Oh, and of course, Cindy has popped off to work. Because, of course, yeah, these are the hours that she works. And I imagine if we have lots of properties, we will see people going to work at different times of the day because people will work different shifts and what have you. So, yeah, she's popped off to work right now. But do you know what? I think what we'll do is we'll finish up for now with the tenants. I think we've kind of got to a point in the demo where we've seen what's going on. We kind of know the deal with the game. I do like this. I like this an awful lot. I mean, you, you can see the obvious house flipper sort of inspirations there. It is, it's very sort of house flippery with how you go around and clean things up and plaster the walls and then put the decor in and stuff and that's no bad thing that is no bad thing at all that is absolutely wonderful and um and yeah i like this i like this a lot i like the tenant coming in obviously dealing with the problems and stuff we need to get money to pay off their bills and what have you for the heating and all that kind of stuff so yeah there's a lot going on there is a lot going on in this game but i think in the demo i think yeah we just go around and do some more sort of stuff around the place i think we can leave it for now and then we'll come back when the game has got, you know, some more to it, I suppose, when it's a bit more developed, when it goes into either early access or full release. I'm not entirely sure what the plan is when the game is actually coming out. I don't know if it's going into early access or whether it's just going out straight into a proper sort of full version. But whatever the case, we will have a go because this is very brilliant indeed. I mean, this game has allowed us to make this room here. It's got crazy green carpets. It's got purple walls and it's got yellow walls all in one room. And do you know what, actually? Do you know what? Cindy here is the absolute perfect occupant for this room because she's just brilliant. I mean, okay, yeah, now she's not. She's got her night things on now. I feel a bit creepy watching her go to sleep. Like, I'm just going to go over. I'm just. I'm not watching you properly. I'm going to go over here and look over there. Um. So yeah, yeah. Uh, the fact that we've made that room, the fact that we've made that room is brilliant. And she is the perfect, perfect occupant because she had like the odd sort of socks on and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, we'll come back to this 
when there is more to it and when it's sort of in a more sort of complete release where we've got more than the demo but yeah this has been a lot of fun and i'm looking forward to playing some more hopefully you have enjoyed this too if you have then please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you are not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with the tenants whenever we can return to it and also to keep up to date with all the other nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time move out of the way friend i'm going to completely ignore you and do some comment moderating <laughs> kung fu croquet maria you've broken my heart there you go some more flowers that i stored at the back of my pants lovely there <laughs> we go as you can see i'm having the wildest of times enormous banana masking <laughs>